guys, I'm back. Okay, so welcome to my channel. My name is Ruby Kiros, and I have officially changed my YouTube channel to Ruby Q Crafts. Why? Because I am tired of not being myself. So with that being said, um, I took a little break off of YouTube making videos because I felt like I needed to find myself. Um, there's so much other like crafts that I do that I haven't shown you guys and I feel that like just diamond painting isn't isn't gonna work for me okay because I, I love doing everything so um, with that being said not only did I change my um, YouTube name but I am going to be bringing all these new crafts to my channel and I'm gonna be doing how to's because I don't do how to's I'm gonna be doing um, like I can't say, well, I guess I could say work in progress with me. Um, my chats are going to be a little different. My recording is going to be different once I get my iPhone uh, 12 Pro because it records really nicely or whatever from what I heard. Um, so anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so first things, first things first. I love to crochet. Well, actually, I used to like to crochet. <laughs> and I lost my crochet mojo, and for some reason, I got it back. I don't know how or why, but I made this hat in, like, two days. Um, I seriously, like, I went and looked at all this yarn, and I was like, what the hell? It, I felt like I was in a different dimension because there's so many new, like, yarn brands, so many new, like, yarn uh, colors from these brands that I used to buy yarn off of um, and I find that I really like this particular yarn from Lime Brand because look at that isn't that pretty and I usually buy worsted weight which is also like uh, I think it's Aran or Aran Aran I don't know how you say it uh, weight yarn and this is a Mandela ombre um, it's soft it's like a lot of yardage and um, so I made this hat and then I had this much left over, which is a lot. I could probably end up making some um, mittens that go with this. So yeah, I'm going to be bringing you some crochet into my channel. Okay. And right now I am actually working with this yarn to make another hat, which looks like this so far. It's like puff stitch and um, basket weave. So it's going to look really nice. And I like how it... It changed colors at the perfect time, you know, so it's like went from dark green to light green. Um, also, these hooks, like what in the hell? So I was looking for a crochet hook that went with this yarn weight, okay? Um, because I don't have crochet hooks anymore. It's been like three years since I crocheted anything, really. Well, actually, I crocheted my son a blanket, but I actually made myself crochet it even though I didn't want to because he needed a blanket when he was born from me. But anyway, I haven't crocheted a hat in like three years, okay? So I was looking at I was looking at all these hooks and I found these from I believe these are boy hooks. Um let's see if I can put there you go. And they are glitter, they are acrylic and glittery, and they are just so freaking beautiful. And when I was you know, I've, I always look at reviews for um, for everything. So it was like three stars. And I was like, why is it three stars? Sometimes people complain about like the dumbest shit, okay? Um, I looked and they were like, there's bubbles in the, in the hooks. And I was like, freaking really? So look, this is what they're talking about. You see those bubbles? They do not affect the way these hooks work at all, okay? Like seriously, you, you can't even feel them at all on the outside. Like these are fine. Um... And they were like, they're flimsy. Yeah, if you want to break them. <laughs> like, I mean, I feel like these are really good hooks. So, um, they're the boy hooks. And uh, th the boy hooks are the ones that have like, you see, oops, sorry guys. So, they're round. They're rounded. Let me see. Focus. Okay, maybe if I get all of these. The difference is that with Susan Bates is that the boy hooks are rounded. They're a lot more round um, at the top and the bottom, like the hook, where the hook is. Um, and Susan Bates is a lot more pointier. Um, I don't usually use boy hooks, but I saw these and I was like, I gotta have them. Okay, and they were only like five bucks or something. So, hell yeah. Um, okay, so anyway, 
there's that I'm bringing you crochet okay and then I don't know why or how but I was like sitting down and I was like, I need to use my Cricut machine that I got for Christmas like two, three years ago. Um, and I started making cards. I don't know what is going on, guys. I'm on a crafting, I don't know, something spell. But I actually ended up creating all these beautiful cards that I want to show you guys how to make. If you have a Cricut machine. Um, I still have to glue. See, this is the back of it. So, like, when you open it, this is what you're going to see. Um, and then I ha I'm going to do um, another one of these, but just in white so that I could glue it on here, which I use this and it's actually working pretty good. Um, and then that way you can write in it, you know, but there is this one. And then this one I just created like a day ago. Um, and then you open it. It's actually, they're, they're really thick too. So I got to glue this. All these I have to glue. This one's the same one, except for I have to do a different backing than the pink, okay? And these are also easy to make. It's not even hard to make. Um, this one I have to glue. This one is a love one. So this is, says love, right? Isn't that pretty? Um, and then we have, this one is my favorite so far. I really like this. It's really, uh, so the, the cool thing about this is that if you have a Cricut machine that you don't use or you use it for vinyl or whatever making, and you don't use it for card making. I finally found cardstock, like the difference between thick and thin cardstock. And I noticed that when I use the the cheapy cardstock, it's it's prone to rip, like right there. Um, so it's gonna be fun explaining to you guys, you know, how tos and stuff, how to make these cards. Um, now this is the deluxe paper from uh, Cricut, and I seriously I love it. I made the envelope, I made the card, and this one's already finished. This is a Christmas card. And that's what it looks like. I just gotta actually uh, add like embellishments and stuff, but this one's good to go, you see? Good to go. Um, so yeah, and then this one is also one of my favorites. It's like little Santa Claus. Oops, it's upside down. See, little Santa Claus, and then you open it. I still gotta glue it. And then you can just write in there, okay? So you don't only have to do Christmas cards. I mean, I don't do Christmas cards. I do a lot of different ones. There's a whole bunch of different types that you can make. Um, if you have Cricut Axis, they have a ton of freaking, um, I guess you can call them like patterns or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to be bringing you cards to my channel, okay? Um, my favorite thing about making these is peeling them off of the mats because I don't know, for some reason, it's just so satisfying. All right, on to the next thing. Along with my Cricut machine, I'm going to be making everything vinyl, okay? Like this one, this cup I made, it says, bitch, I will put you in a trunk and help people look for you. Stop playing with me. And this is like my favorite cup now, okay? Like, I love it. It's the best. Um, I also made, I bought these cups at, I believe, Target. They have like little bubbles in them and I made this unicorn cup because I thought it went like really good with the bubbles and I put all these little stars so that I don't know it's pretty cool and the thing is that when I got this vinyl um, I got it like a couple years ago and I was like what am I gonna do with this vinyl um, and now I know I know what to do now cute um, like you know little things like that anyway this one says, I want pizza, not your opinion. It's in pink. I thought it went well. For some reason, I am gearing towards a lot more pink colors with my stuff making, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, so, but again, this one's like my favorite one. And I'm learning how to, um, you know, cut, shape, create my own quotes, all that stuff on the Cricut machine. So that's awesome. And another thing I'm bringing to my channel is painting, watercolor painting. I love watercolor painting. It helped me so much when I was pregnant, when I was feeling down. Um, for some reason, I cannot find my art pad, but this is one of the things that I made with watercolors. This is an ultrasound of Michael. Um, I just kind of like, I guess I just looked at a picture and just recreated it with watercolors. Um, I like doing a lot of galaxy watercoloring, so that's going to be really fun. I want to teach you guys how to watercolor. 
Um, these paints right here, they are, uh, these are Arteza Premium, let me see, what are these called? I know they're, they're gouache, 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 I don't know how to say it, <laughs> gouache colors. So what these do is, oh, hold on. So these are gouache colors from Arteza. These give off a more vibrant, um, I guess you could say coloring. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, so say that I'm doing my watercolor, right? I want to do the galaxy and I obviously when you're using water and the colors, it kind of, you have to do it to get a specific color that you want. You got to do it several times because of course they're watercolors. You got to let it dry in between uh, layering. Uh, so with this, this helps it be more vibrant uh, so that you don't have to keep layering on your watercolor. You get what I'm saying? So these are a lot more thicker and this is really good for that. So as you can see, and actually I'm gonna, oops, my bad. I'm going to put some on my hand. Um, and I have a ton of these. I got these a while ago, a while back. So see how it's a little pasty. So that helps um, with the vibrancy in your work. That way you don't have to keep on layering and layering the watercolors. I have to get new watercolor. Um, yeah, I got to get new watercolors because the one that I had, I ran out of. It's like a little, um, a palette. So I have to, I have to re-get it. But when I do, I want to teach you how to make art stuff with it. Because it's fun. Watercoloring is fun. And I'll teach you what brushes to use. It's really fun. I think you'll like it. And so yeah, cool, right? Okay, and one more thing I am going to change about the way I do my videos is I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't give a shit who I'm affiliated with. If there's an issue that the, the company that I am affiliated with um, has, I'm going to tell you guys. But before I tell you guys, I'm going to bring it up to them first so that they know and then I'll tell you guys because, you know, I, I feel like being an affiliate, that's what you're supposed to do. I. You know, I, I, at first I didn't want to, I was like, no, I should tell them and then let them fix it. No, I'm going to tell them and I'm going to tell you what my problem is. Hopefully they fix it, you know, because that's just the way it should be. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm glad that we're on the same page. Um, so before I go, uh, let me move that to the side. I want to thank my secret Santas for gifting me what they did, which I got this. Um, these are wax colored pencils. I have the this is the um, Black Widow edition. I have the scorpion one and I know that Since I like these colors. I wanted this um, This edition I guess you can call it <laughs> So I, I like all the colors in this um, oops, Sorry guys, I moved my desk and it's like next to the wall now. So it's a little harder to record but anyway um, these are really good. I really like these. They, I don't know. I just like them. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I'm going to bring coloring into my YouTube. I feel like a lot of people do that already. And it's not something, I do this um, when I'm like hanging out with my husband. You know, I have a whole bunch of coloring books. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I'll think about it. I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, and then um, I got this. I've been wanting this image for such a long time and um, this is from Run Far and I am I already opened it um, I will show you at the end of this video what this looks like but oh my god I am freaking happy with this I cannot wait Ooh, I cannot wait oh another thing I'm not gonna stop diamond painting guys I'm not okay um, the reason that I stopped diamond painting is because I got burnt out uh, I was doing the the Christmas morning from Diamond Art Club. This has nothing to do with Diamond Art Club, okay? Absolutely nothing to do with them. It was just me. I was, I felt like it was Groundhog Day. I would just sit down and work and then, you know, do whatever. Sit down and work and then do whatever. It wasn't fun. It wasn't, like, satisfying. It was actually stressing me out. So I put it away. I was like, the hell with this. And then I started these other crafts. And I'm so happy I did because now my channel is going to be way different and it made even even though it was seven days those seven days were what helped me like reflect on what i've been doing with my channel and all this stuff okay um i didn't realize i was in two secret santas but apparently i am so 
This is the second thing I got um, from my second Secret Santa. Um, I know Rachel Ray has a Secret Santa on Elster, and then uh, Melissa, she has uh, another one on Elster. So I actually, I thought it was just one, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but anyway, um, I got this. As you can see, it has like a whole bunch of spikes on it. This is supposed to be therapeutic. Um, it's kind of like, how would you say it? Okay, like acupuncture, okay? So, um, you're supposed to be careful and everything, okay? Like, don't kill yourself with this, but this could be used as a weapon, just saying. Um, so they are spikes, so you will see them on your body, like you see that, okay? Uh, but my husband, he, he didn't know about this, so when I told him, I'm like, hey, use it on my back. This mother muffin was, he literally went, ah, like this on my back. And I was like, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> so I was like, no, you're not supposed to do that. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> my back was burning. I was like, oh, I'm going to die. He's trying to kill me. But um, I, I showed him how to do it. And then he did it the right way. And my back felt better. Weird, right? I was having like back pain and he would massage my back. It didn't work. He used this for like 10 minutes, okay? Like he was going slow and it felt really good. And then I did it on his back and he's like, oh, this is actually really good. So this is pretty cool. I'm happy that I got this. But like I said, be careful because this is spiky and you know, you can uh, hurt someone with this. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool, right? All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, Actually, uh, I'm gonna clear my my desk area okay and then i'm gonna show you this diamond painting real quick okay okay before i show you this diamond painting i want to say something real quick um i will no longer be doing um a schedule okay i have three kids i have a husband i'm a wife you know i i feel like another reason why i spiral down was because I felt like I had to catch up to people and like I was comparing myself and I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to do me. If I want to upload a video or two this week, I'm going to do it. If I don't want to upload anything, I'm not going to do it, you know? And that's just to keep my sanity because I'm not a huge YouTuber, okay? Um, but I do. I love it. But I feel like I will put all my heart into it if I do it when I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like, Tuesday, I'm going to put this up. Wednesday, because I, I noticed that when I do that, I don't do it <laughs> and I just don't want to do it you know what I'm saying so that's gonna change to um so I'm gonna upload when I upload you know what I'm saying Friday nights I'm still gonna be doing my lives don't worry about that um after Miss Crochet and Coffee's live I'll go on I'll try to go on right after her because I usually do like an hour after her but um I, I realize that a lot of people are like that's too late you know so all right anyway let's show you this run far um, diamond painting. Sorry, I had to do the voice. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I like, first off, I like that their, um, the kit is bagged. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic here, but it's bagged, which is awesome. Okay. Um, I already seen this, so I already know what this looks like. Okay. You guys don't yet. So, um, I like that it comes with this cute washi tape. Like, I don't know. Like, that's cool. I think it's different. I don't think I've seen another kit other than Ever Moment have washi tape in their kits, okay? Um, I, it has blue wax. I've never used blue wax, so that's exciting. It comes with two pins and some, oops, sorry guys. Like I said, new spot. Um, it comes with blue wax, squishy tray, two pins, and some multi-placers. And I see a straightener in there, which is awesome. It's like they were just like, you know what? They need everything. Boom, let's put everything in there. Okay, cool. Um, and then they have, they have the information sheet, which I really like that it says the shape, size, and color. Um, like it, it just has everything. It's pretty cool. It tells you everything right here. It tells you what it comes with. Um, and, and you know, the crazy thing is that it comes with these tags, okay? Um, I'm not sure. This goes by number. That's what I see. I'm noticing that this goes by number. But I guess if you want to put the DMC code on here, you can use this. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, cool. 
Um, all right, let's pan out of this so I can show you the whole diamond painting. And there it is. I think it looks great. I think that for the size, it looks amazing. I cannot wait to start on it. It is poured glue. It has the legend on the left and it has it on the right, which is awesome. Um, let's take a look at the symbols real quick. Hopefully I'm not messing with the speaker portion of this so you can actually listen to what the hell I'm saying. Um, symbol looks good. Symbols look great. I don't see an issue here. Um, I already checked the sticky. The sticky's pretty good. I like that the glue doesn't pass like more than that. Because if it did, it would suck. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I don't like that. But um, yeah. Alright guys. That's it for today. This is like the fastest uh, diamond painting unboxing, untubing, unbagging, whatever I have done in ever. Let me know what you think in the comments. What do you want to see in my channel? Um, do you like the change? Do you not like the change? If you don't, sorry, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, I love you guys. And thank, and you know what? Thank you. I forgot to say this. Thank you to all the people who contacted me, who wrote kind words when I said that I needed a break. You guys have no idea how that, how much that meant to me. Like it literally made me feel so much better. Um, you have no idea. You know who you are. And, uh, and I appreciate you. Um, you're the reason why I feel like I got better, okay? Because sometimes it's hard to get out of that rut. When you're in that hole, it's hard to climb out of it. And you guys help me climb out of it. So I love you guys. Have a good day. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Whatever it is, I'll see you there. Bye, guys.